Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome back to my Space Engineers Let's Play. This is Season 1. This is Episode 15. And I have just dumped all my stuff into my containers here, because I'm going to actually go out and try and catch me a ship. Um, I'm just going to go out, uh, just me, myself, and I, and I'll uh, see if we can catch a ship. Now, I have um, cargo thingies turned on, cargo ships, and uh, we can see some out there right there. Uh, we have our beacon set up, so let's um, let's recharge our suit. The main the main um, risk of this is that our suit is going to run out of energy. Um, I've never done this before with a ship or without, uh, so I'm going to try it without a ship first. That way, uh, in case I die, I don't lose anything. And let's uh, let's see what we got here. We got a mining carriage. Let's just go for that. It's actually it's actually pretty close. What we'll do is we'll turn off our inertial dampeners. Uh, I don't remember how to do that, actually. There, there we go. That way we won't lose any... Uh, we, when you turn off your inertial dampeners, you basically just glide along and you're not using any more energy from your suit. Now, it looks like this mining carriage is going off to the right. Okay. So let's uh, put our dampeners on. And let's, uh, let's try and catch this thing. We're probably going to fly right by it, but that's okay. What you want to do is you want to, like, kind of zero your velocity with it. Um... I'm just trying to figure out which way it's going. This is this is a first time for me, so uh, you know, bear with me. Okay. And it doesn't look like we're getting shot at, which is nice. Now we're gonna turn our dampeners off. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and zero our velocity with the ship. And there we go. Now we just gotta go right in the door here. Oh, 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 careful. Okay. Open up that door. Get in the ship. And there we go. Now, a lot of these ships are uh, basically um, booby-trapped uh, to explode. Basically what happens is when you turn on their inertial dampeners, their, their um, reverse thrusters, their retrograde thrusters kick on. And, and somewhere inside the ship, there's usually a warhead built in front, in front of one of them. But uh, I'm going to go for it anyway. Let's see. Uh, I, normally what I would do is I would search around for the bomb. But I don't know if there's one on this one. So let's... Let's give it a try. Inertial dampeners on. And is it going to explode? No, it is not. Okay, so this one was not uh, was not rigged to explode on us. Uh, let's go out and take a look at the outside. Alright, so we got to turn our dampeners on. There we go. And uh, yeah, we've captured a ship. That was actually quite a bit easier than I thought. And it looks like this ship has an area here for docking. Um, I, I'm guessing that these are, yep, these are conveyors. So what you do is you, you could go out and, um, and mine with this ship, I guess. And then it has a bunch of these large storage containers. Okay. And what you do, I don't know how you're supposed to get to the storage containers, though. They look like they're all, they look like they're all covered up. I'm not sure exactly how you're supposed to get to the, oh, is this it? Yeah. This is your cargo container, right here. So let's see what this thing's got. Alright, it's got a bunch of drills, a couple supplies here. It's got some platinum, some uranium. Um, it's got some gold, some magnesium. It's got a bunch of nice ores in it, which is pretty cool. Uh, you know, it's got a few things. And what, what it is, is all these cargo containers are all linked to each other. And what you do is you just, you know, you go out there and you fill stuff up, you fill them up, you fill them up, and then you come back, and I'm guessing you could dock right here perfectly with another cargo container, but that would be pretty difficult. And I'm or, and I'm assuming that you, once this conveyor touches another cargo container, they're all linked, so you could just go on, like, say if you have, like, a big setup right here, you can kind of park this right on top of a, of a conveyor itself, dock it to a conveyor, and then once it's docked properly to another conveyor, you're, it's completely hooked into your system. It's a pretty interesting design. Um, I'm just going to part this ship out, though. I don't I don't give a rat's you-know-what about this ship. I'm just glad those uh, turrets didn't shoot at me when I came in. Because turrets are now working, but they don't shoot at people yet, I guess. So let's, uh, let's fly this thing back. Yeah, this thing is a piece of cake. I don't know what this really is supposed to be. It's just holding stuff. Um, we don't have any gravity, which is fine. Let's close this door. Can we close the door? There we go. 
Let's fly this bad boy back to base. If we can get in the cockpit. There we go. And we're just going to aim it towards our beacon. Now, I think you can turn by using the arrow keys, which is really the way you want to do it. You don't want to, like, be moving around your mouse unless you're doing, like, really intricate turns or unless you have a small ship. But for these kinds of big ships, you just kind of want to use your, your uh, arrow keys. And the power usage, the power isn't enough for this thing, which is pretty interesting. Uh, we have a fuel time of 12 minutes, and we're going to turn off our dampeners and get up to about 50, 50 meters a second. And then we'll just coast coast in the rest of the way. Yeah, it's a pretty good ship. I'm just going to part this out. The thing about this ship is um, the large the large thrusters are going to come in very handy. Um, there's, you know, you could mine for everything you want uh, to use in the game. But the thing is, there are some resources that are going to be more rare out there. And um, I think getting those large thrusters is really going to help. Plus, you know, this isn't really a ship I care about. It's... I mean, I don't really see any use for it, to be honest. Uh, just the transport stuff, I, I guess that could be useful, but... Um, yeah, I mean, I could think of a much easier way to do a mining transfer ship. Uh, this thing's a little big and a bit much just for a transfer ship. And what we're going to do is we're going to fly this right over our area. Now you can see a little bit better from here. Okay. Yep. Definitely want to see from down here. I want to get as close to my uh, as close to my area as possible without uh, that obviously crashing into it. So we got 12 minutes of thrust here, so that's that's not a problem at all. And I can now see my I can see my base. And let's slow this down a little bit. Retrograde thrusters are never as powerful as your forward momentum thrusters uh you got to keep that in mind it, it takes it takes a good amount of time to slow down a lot a lot of times and so you know what you'll do is a lot of times you'll end up slowing down before you've actually gotten to your destination but i'd rather do that than crash into it okay just about right over top i've watched people do let's plays when they're flying these big ships and let me tell you something man they crash into stuff a lot more than they'd like to. I just want to move this right about here. Okay. And then we just go down. Try and get this as close as possible because once we're breaking up the ship, parting out the ship, uh, you know, you don't want to... You don't want to have to go too far to drop stuff off. Oops. There we go. Now, I will start parting this out um, on camera, but I'll probably do a lot of the uh, parting out off camera. I just, want to, I just want you to get an idea of what parting out a ship means, what it entails. Uh, we're now in the gravity. Okay. It's a little bit hard to judge depth perception here. Um, eh, it should be close enough. I don't. I don't really want. Well, you know, we got some room. All right, that's good enough. All right, let's turn this off. Get out of here. All right, open the door. Let's see how close we got. You can never tell depth perception when you're in a ship. You know, oh, we got to turn it off to open the door. Or turn it on to open the door. So let's open the door. And turn it off. You're off. Okay. Oh, we got pretty close, actually. That's... That's not a bad parking job. That's pretty much exactly where I wanted it to be. Not bad at all. It's actually a good-looking ship. Um, but, I, again, I, I really don't have much use for it. It's uh, it's a bit much. All it does is transfer stuff. And it's really big. You know, I could make a much much smaller ship that could transfer, you know, a lot of stuff. Now, here's the question. Let me check my timer. We could always go out and capture another ship, right? Why not? Yeah, we got plenty of time. Let's uh, let's go in our cockpit right here. 
and uh, get our energy back up. Our energy's up. We got another. We got a mining carriage. So what did we just get? Actually, that was a. What is this thing? I forget. I can't see the name of it. Was it a mining carriage? I, th I thought it was. Hmm. It was called something. It must have had a beacon on it. Maybe when it's not on. See, I don't remember what it was called. Was it called a mining carriage or a mining transport? You know, um, the only thing I see out there is a mining carriage. Uh, let's see what this is called again. I know you guys are probably like kids. What's the matter with you? But I honestly don't remember what it was called. I think we have to turn the power on to see the beacon. So let's go ahead and do that. Power on. Yeah, mining carriage. Okay. Well, we don't need another mining carriage. Uh, is there anything else out there? Oops. We, uh... Forgot to mute my phone. I hate it when that happens. Alright. Beacon. That's mine. Mining carriage. We already have one of those. Hmm. You know what? Let's just start parting some of this out. So... The main thing we're going to want is those thrusters, uh, but I don't want to cut... The, I want to cut the thrusters off last, because those are the things that, like, if I start getting, like, um... If the ship starts flying off into space, you know, you want the thrusters on there to help out with that. Uh, I'm not really sure if that matters, but I'm going to take the thrusters off last. First thing we're going to do is take everything out of here. Now, some people said you could double-click to get stuff out, but if it's not the top inventory, you can't do that, which is obviously really really annoying all right now we're full so let's go drop this off shall we I really want to finish this side this side uh, walkway here we oh boy oh I don't know what just happened <laughs> I kind of like fell out and then like fell back in I don't I don't know all I know is I'm not dead so that's good. That's a good thing. Alright, so we got some plutonium here. Let's look at the uh, second refinery. We'll put everything else in the second refinery. Because uh, it doesn't seem to have much in it. Magnesium. Gold. Now, gold is one of those rare resources I was talking about. Um, I don't think cobalt is. Silicon I've had some trouble finding in the past. Um, I'm not really sure. To be honest, what's rare and what's not. But uh, I'm just glad I got some of that stuff. Alright. Man, that is a neat looking ship. Okay, here... Oh, I thought I saw another ship. No, it's still a mining carriage. We don't care about mining carriages. We already got one. Um, it was an easy capture. Uh, it's nice, but, you know, I want to do something different for the next ship I go after. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take this out. Take this stuff out of the reactor. We can't get to the reactor. Yeah. Oh, two reactors. Okay. Why can't I double click this? Oh, it's not connected. There's a small cargo container that's not connected. That might be the one in the back. The, the one in the back's not connected? I thought that would have been the one that would connect everything. Otherwise, you can't get to the other ones. It's kind of weird. Uh, just leave the hand drills in there. Don't need them. Don't need these. All right. I've been watching this uh, series called Brocraft, where they, uh, it's these guys I watch, Darrenus and his buddy Mindfiend, a couple other people sometimes, um, and they've been doing a Space Engineers Let's Play, and they have all their, uh, uh, all their asteroids on, and, uh, that's really cool, man, like, I was watching them, and their guns actually, the, the turrets and stuff actually work against the asteroids, uh, they protect you, somewhat, um, so I am gonna build guns in this, uh, in this space station at some point, uh, preferably pretty soon, hopefully, uh, but we'll see. And, uh, yeah. And then I'm going to turn on asteroids. It should be pretty exciting. They were actually building inside of asteroids, too, which is really cool. Um, definitely do that in a future Let's Play as well. Because that was really neat. Alright, so I'll show you how parting this thing out goes now. Uh, let's just take off... Eh. You know, okay, so what I was thinking was taking off all this metal. But this metal is basically just... Uh, <clears throat> it's just... The basic, uh, 
what's it called? Light armor block. Now that's steel plates. Steel plates are incredibly easy to get. I don't really care too much about steel plates. So I'm actually going to take off the uh, the reactors. And right here, the reactors, you can see right there, 960 thruster components um, are pretty sweet. That's that's what I want. Um, if, I, if I'm ever going to build a big ship, and I, and I do want to build a big ship at some point, I'm going to need those. We just got to be careful that we don't get overburdened with stuff. Um, instead of going back and forth, nah, I got to go back and forth. Come on, there's got to be another ship somewhere. Huh. Might have a lot of luck with ships, huh? Hmm. I'm not sure if I've done something wrong, if I set it up wrong, but I, I mean, I just put cargo ships on. There was no, uh, there was no, like, level of cargo ships, so I'm not sure why I'm not getting enough car a lot of cargo ships, but, yeah, whatever. Alright, so now we got a ton of thruster components. And, uh, yeah. So that's how you part out the ship. I'm, I'm thinking I, I don't really want to part out the ship on video, though. I'd really like to go out and get another ship. Um, hmm. Wow. Oh, one thing I can do is I can actually name this, uh... I can name the space station. I actually came up with a name for the space station. Um, it's going to be called... Actually, should I... You know what? I'm thinking of a name for the video. And I... I don't want to name the space station the same video that I captured my first ship. This video is going to be named after me capturing my first ship. Uh, so I will name the next video the space station name. I know that that doesn't really concern you, but uh, that's why I'm not naming it right now. So, Alright, I actually just paused the video and took a, a quick screenshot for the, uh, for the thumbnail. So yeah, I'm not going to name the uh, space station because... Uh, yeah, well that's the reason. Alright, um... So, I am still want to capture another ship, but I'm getting, this video is getting close to being over. Um, so, I don't see another one to capture. So, let's, I'm going to part out the ship. You've seen what I have to do to part it out, but I'm not going to do it on camera because there's a lot of back and forth. Um, so, I'm going to actually finish this up. Let's go ahead and grab our trusty interior walls. And we're just going to, nope, that's not right. That's right. Uh, actually, that might not be right. I think it's right, but... What did I say? I need interior plates? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to need some interior plates and uh, steel plates for this. Mostly interior plates, I'm guessing. Interior plates take up uh, more room, or they're, they're heavier than the, uh, the other plates. The steel plates, which is interesting. Well, let's just bring another 200. Yeah, that'll work. And we'll bring some of these. Oh, no, 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 that's not going to work. We need construction components. All right, well, let's drop off another 200 of these and bring construction components. Okay. Oh, by the way, another thing is this uh, co conveyor is upside down, <laughs> so I'm going to rebuild those at some point. The ones up top as well, because that's annoying. <laughs> That'll bother me. Alright, so this should be facing the right way. Yep. Alright, so basically what I'm doing on this Let's Play is I'm going to be placing down structures and then building them off camera because it takes so long. I mean, I might do some building on camera, but for the most part, I'm going to be doing most of the building off camera. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just going to be placing down these structures and, you know, next time I, uh, next time I log on, uh, well... Next time I log on, theoretically, this stuff should be built, but uh, sometimes I just don't get around to it. But I guess I'll have to make a concerted effort to do it this time, because this room is pretty much done. It just needs to be made. Oops. There we go. Okay. Now this needs to come out like this. Yeah. I'm just, sometimes I'm careful about when I place down a block because I'm not sure if I'm going to have room to actually craft it. So, let's come down in here. Interior walls. Right there and there. And this room is almost done. The in interior part of it, anyway. Still got to build the outside part of it. Uh, the interior walls are pretty cool, but I kind of wish one side... Yeah, I wish there was two kinds of interior walls. Interior walls that have these, like... These little lights 
all the way around it, like these. And then I wish there was interior walls that had lights on one side and, like, plating on the other. So that way I can make it look like interior walls on the inside of the space station and look like a space station on the outside of the space station. Because if these interior walls are on the outside of the space station, it doesn't really look like a space station. It looks like what would be interior walls. So I guess you could make one side look just like light armor block and the other side look like interior walls. That would be pretty cool. Okay. And just for symmetrical purposes, we'll do this. And this. Actually, we'll leave that alone because that'll probably be a corner thing like this. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Huh. Even better. Hold on. Hold on. Thinking, I'm thinking outside the box. Alright. So what about... This... You know what, let's just build this whole thing right now. Thanks to my modded XML file, you can see right here, uh, everything builds a lot quicker on this world. Um, actually, I think it does any world I make, like if I make like a world or something, like a multiplayer world, it, everyone gets this, these uh, building mechanics, which is pretty cool. Okay, so, oh, one more. So I'm trying to make this look as cool as possible from the outside because, you know, why not? So let's do this. Let's go with... How about this? Yes. And then... Uh, where do I... There it is. It's number seven. And then... Like that. And now what I can do is, I can actually take these out. And I know I just put these in, but whatever. I like the fact that you can, you can break them out and get everything back. And what we're going to do is we're going to use these nice blocks. I've used them before. Uh, these inverted blocks. They look really cool. And uh, yeah, just like that. So let's do this on the other side and build it and see how it looks. It's, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to look pretty sweet. Yeah. Alright, let's see what this looks like. Now, the inverted corners, um, I didn't change the XML file. I only changed the XML file for walls. Basically, the uh, the light slopes and or the light armor blocks and the walls. So, you know. All right. Yes, yes, I can live with that. Let's come over here back on our ship, and we'll build the rest of that corner, and then we'll take a look at it from far away, just to make sure you know it looks really cool. And I'm gonna check my timer while I'm getting my life support back. Okay. All right, a couple minutes left. And that'll be good enough for the rest of the video. Actually, let me turn this off. There we go. That'll be good enough for the rest of the video. So, yeah. I'm basically just trying to make everything as, like, slopey and angular as possible. Um, let's do the same thing on the bottom and build this whole corner and see how it looks. And then we'll paint it, but that's not a problem. That's easy to do now. Now that I know how to do it properly. I think I broke the corner thing out. Nope, almost. I saw myself hitting it, but I didn't break it. All right, nine. And you are supposed to go like that. And that. So Autumn's sitting behind me watching, and uh, Autumn's my wife, for those of you that don't know. She's the one I was mentioning that came to my server and helped me uh, last episode, and uh, she's also the one I named my ship after. And uh, she said this looks really good, so I'm happy. Good job, Paige. <laughs> there you go. So let's just finish this up and get a look at it. Uh, maybe we'll even paint it. See what it looks like. All right, one more. And there we go. Nice. I think it looks pretty cool. I like it. I think it looks pretty cool. Yep. 
Okay, guys. Uh, hopefully between this and next video, I will get a lot of this done, but we'll see. Uh, <laughs> we will see. No promises. So anyway, that's going to be the end of uh, episode 15. We'll see you next time for episode 16. Till then, take it easy.